did you ask Santa for a bike? There are no pedals. Huh? You want you a yo-yo? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just grab your grab stuff. Yeah, too. Yeah, Adi. 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 Of course, the key's back on that. <laughs> no, I don't know what this is. Thank you. Dad, we're going to hear that for the rest of the time, okay? Okay, I know. Those foods are going to disappear tonight. Wait, how do you open this? The bottom. The bottom comes off. Oh, there's Elijah. Oh, hey, I want to say Merry God. Christmas to Elijah. Hi, Elijah. Listen, the whistles are from Ireland, actually. Oh, oh, did they test them all before they sent them? Uh huh. Oh, yep. Okay. There's a whistle tester Ew. at the factory. Ew. Whoa! Ew. Oh, princesses. I just read stop. Alright, candy cane. What'd you get? Socks from Grandma and Grandpa. It says don't stop believing, but Andrew just saw stop believing. <laughs> They're like, okay, it's time to be over. Grandma and Grandpa Norp send everyone some socks, I guess. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, no, Grandma and Grandpa are so nice. Game, right? 20 bucks hey, for everybody. Sweetie. Okay, everyone's open their stockings, right? Yep. Yeah. 20 is from Grandma and Grandpa. Okay. We're rich. Cat. <laughs> okay. So now it's time to do our stockings, I think. Not stockings, the presents. Have them. Yeah, we have some yarn. The kitty is just making himself comfortable right on the table there. Okay, Eve I think we should look and see who's that. Who that is to? Eve. Uh -huh. Should we see whose name is on this one? See whose name is on there. Whose name is on the bike? Mommy. Eve. <gasps> Whoa, that's your bike. Awesome. Didn't you ask Santa for a bike? There are no pedals. Huh? You want a yo-yo? Yeah. But you asked Santa for a bike. I saw. It was on your list. Look, Santa brought it to you. You should try it out. See if you can get on there. No, it doesn't really have any pedals. Yeah, 
doesn't. What? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You can actually reach your feet to the yeah. floor. Okay, well, that's your... Oh, you do it outside? Okay. Just try to sit on it. Okay, after we get done. Are you scared? Like in the Christmas tree. Okay, you see if you can... You just... All you got to do is kind of stand there. Wait, you got to hold these. It's Oh, it's, it's low enough. You can stand on it. And then put your feet over. What's that? Oh. I need to make that a little bit lower. See, and then you just kind of push yourself forward. Just push. You don't have to pedal. Okay, let's get off then, okay? Okay, pull your foot back over. Lean this okay, way. This way. There you go. You did it. You'll get it figured out. <laughs> Not quite the reaction I thought we might get on that one. Set it down. Just open it on the floor. Yeah. Asher's got a heavy one now. What is it? I know what it is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go drop this one up so much to now. <laughs> I can't even use the batteries 20 pounds. Wait. Careful. Whoa. Whoa. It works. Wait, did you get the batteries in that? You gotta put the batteries in it. What is this? That's like a protective film. I don't know why you need that on a thing. Whatever it's made out of. Hey, we might want to move that though or else someone's going to stub their toe on that. Someone might, someone might chip on that in the dark. My turn? My turn? I don't stub my toe on me. They stub their toe on me. Esther got another model head. Or head model or whatever. <laughs> so we can all be freaked out some more by her uh, her I don't want to hair heads. <laughs> okay, Christmas. That's it. We all opened our stuff. Was it good? Yeah, it was great. I'm gonna go put this in the. I know we left a big enough mess behind. Oh man. Look, I got a twenty. Why I cut it Is it time to eat your chocolate already? I know, you got her well, drawing thing. I took this hammer and just shattered Yeah, it that's some headphones. Mm -hmm. Asher's got his ah. anvil, ready to rock. Okay, that's good. We'll do that outside, okay? No, he's actually getting dentist stuff. <laughs> now it's time for breakfast. This is We're doing this kind of like hybrid of um, French toast. Oh, like French toast. Cristo. Yeah, French toast. Is that right? French toast? Yes. Man, my brain. Hey. And you, oh. you put it in there and then you fry it, right? Yeah. Mm. Those are looking good. Yeah. Orange yeah. juice. You can put, put you can put that. syrup on it if you want to. Make it a little bit sweet. Oh, you're supposed to put syrup. I, I just eat it like normal grilled cheese. Is it good? Yeah. Dad, is this yours? I don't know if it's assigned to anyone. You can have it. Okay. Go for it. 
Even Jude have disappeared. It is a flame. You are flame. You're flame. You're just watching. You're going to figure out what you're going to tear apart next. Clean up time. But the kitty is making even a bigger mess. Fall thing is still pretty fun. Casper has just been loving all the wrapping paper. Everybody has got their stuff and they're kind of playing with it. Eve's doing her drawing. Which is fun. Oh, it's a ice cream cone. Yeah, yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah, you gonna show Elsie that? Yeah, Eve didn't have quite the reaction to her bike that we were expecting. So, we'll see if she um, accepts that a little bit better, but she has no interest in it right now. <laughs> She's, Megan remembered, and she thinks the reason she might have asked for it in the first place is because Elsie, her cousin, encouraged her to ask for a bike, but I don't know that she actually wanted one. Well, so, we'll see. I know. I know. So, but now she, like, wants something to do with it. So. See if she comes around to that idea a little bit more. Oh, Jeez. thank you. But Asher's been outside with his anvil and his other tools. We decided that it's probably good, a good idea to build a stand for his anvil. Because it's putting it on the, the whatever, the workhorse. What do they call that? Workhorse thing? Not the workhorse. The donkey? Sawhorse. Sawhorse. It's a little too unsteady, so... Did you try it out a seesaw? I looked up a, a video on how to make one pretty easily and pretty cheaply with some scraps I think I already have. So I think we'll yeah. go do that today. And then he's going to start working on that stuff. So there's two methods. Mom got there's the mortar and pest, 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 pestle, pustule. Yep, <laughs> mortar and pustule. <laughs> there's the smaller one. This thing weighs a ton, by the way. Mom's gonna get real some nice I've been so ones. domestic. Wait, I'm almost and exotic. You look domestic too. With, with this on. <laughs> so you're just practicing with some rice. It That's says to. It says I know. To I'm just power. telling oh, the people you can at home. Like this. And fling rice over it. Ooh, you need to wear eye protection when you're doing this, I think. <laughs> what is this? They did in the ancient days. I don't know where the string came from. Oh, got, oh it's from the rice, Mom. Look, the string. Oh, great. They're stringing our rice. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so. I knew that as you're getting this anvil, so there's the anvil. Here, well, you move your hand so we can see it. It's a 25 pounder. 25? Ah. Feels heavier than that, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Because it's so small, you think it's not going to be that heavy. Um, but because of the size, we knew that, or excuse me, just because it's an anvil, we need somewhere to put it. So we're going to build an anvil stand, which I think should be pretty simple, actually. Um, with some material we have here, I think we can use. Uh, is that is that big enough? That would fit. So what we do is basically you build a. You kind of put these together. Like okay, a uh, what's it called? Jenga style. Yeah. And they've already got holes in them, which is kind of great. Although some of those holes may not be lined up properly lined up, so we might have to drill new ones. But anyways, you can kind of build a little stand. That's enough? really sturdy, and uh, um, and I've got another piece there I can cut up more yeah, from. Just... So I think we can put that together, and then you can have a little stand for it. realize that we actually don't have the right size of those four by fours. Um, they're not big enough. So we have to go get some from the Lowe's Rome Depot tomorrow when they're open because it's Christmas. But did you see this? Got my new, uh, got this for Christmas. It's my workshop apron. I'm actually pretty happy about that because it's hard to keep everything on you that you need when you're just using, you know, pockets and belt, belt loops or belt the belt. Anyway, so 
That's my new toy for uh, Christmas. And also I got a cool new clamp, like a corner clamp, which I'm pretty excited about, so. Yeah, I finally got out of my pajamas. It's the last day to wear my Christmas sweater, so put it on. I feel like my hair is getting a little long. It's starting to look kind of like 1982 Princess Diana. <laughs> Um, anyways, I'm going to, we're going to be eating with Weston's family again today, more of a traditional Christmas dinner with a ham and potatoes and stuff. And I'm doing the ham, the green beans, and a salad, which is really just like whipped cream, apples, and candy. Um, so I am going to look up recipes. I know I've done it before, but I think I'm going to try to do the ham in the instant pot to keep it a little bit more moist. And whoa! Almost dropped it. Now I'm gonna get to work. So we couldn't make the um, stand for Asher's um, anvil, but he is out here doing some blacksmithing with this new stuff. Asher sort of set up shop here underneath. I think we're gonna try to have a spot here for him so that he can work. You put on those, you need those glasses on. Huh? Uncomfortable. You mean because of your ear, your those things? Why don't you just use the ones that go inside your ears? Because those don't block out. Oh, um, these okay. Are easier. Hold on, hmm. See okay, we might need to find something you can still wear because you do need to protect your eyes. But so he's got his charcoal going. We re we learned online that you can use like uh, he found some old railroad spikes. Yeah. Those are a good um, good option for steel. This is a a um, protective shirt thing that's flame retardant and stuff. Yeah. You can actually probably grab the coal with those gloves just real quick and throw it in back in there. Those gloves are protective gloves for him. And uh, he's got his anvil kind of set up here. Looks a little precarious. But hopefully tomorrow we can build the actual stand for it. Yep. Okay. What is this for? That must just be for, that came with the anvil. I guess that's just probably for finer type work, you know, like you do the main like kind of flattening or whatever, shaping with that. With this, and then you probably do some more fine tuned stuff with that. We need to watch some courses on blacksmithing. Figure that out. I use this as a little hanger. Oh, that's a good idea. Cool. Ooh, it's cold out here. I'm going inside. Meanwhile, inside the house, I'm working on getting the we're making this ham. This is for dinner tonight over at Wes and Allison's. We're going to take it over there, but we're going to cook it in the uh, Instant Pot because that's fun. Um, we actually got this today from my brother, a little ice cream maker. Excited to give that a try. And that's made a new little mortar and pestle. Pestle? Pestle. Pestle. I want to call it like a pustule. I know, you do Pestle. Every time. Mortar and pestle. Pestle. Okay, so. Let's put it in there first. And then do the, uh, the, the glaze. Yeah. It's, yeah. a, it's a glazed ham. Oh yeah, will fit. Kind of. Got to push it a little bit. Maybe not. Okay. We might need to shave off this. Uh oh. Head. Dang it. Wait, this is the end. That's not. No, that's cut. That's cut. It's, just, it's pretty much cut all the way around, but. We should just like shave this off and put it somewhere else. Okay. Do we need to get more, um, since we just broke that, do we need another yeah, piece? Yeah, we do. Okay, so it said to, in the recipe I read, which I guess I can put a link down below to, it said to kind of like separate the... The layers. The layers a little bit. I don't know if it really... Well, you sense. want to get it like inside, is the thing. I don't know where else it would go in an instant pot, you know? That's why well, I... Well, it'll just go all to the bottom. Oh, did we put the water in yet? Nope. Might need that. It's on a little rack in there. One and a half cups. And I don't remember how much, I think it said two minutes per pound. I threw that thing away, I'll need to figure out. Well, we're making a salad right now. This is the Snicker salad. Now, we've had a few mishaps here. The, um, put 
pudding I was making turned out it was a cook and serve, not an instant, because like we got the pudding too late and it was like barely anything left. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to cook it in this pot, forgetting that that pot was like Teflon. And, and you were like whisking it, whisking it, whisking it, whisking it. So then it was just like pudding, like Teflon flavored pudding. Mm. And so I just threw the pot away. And then I decided to just make up a recipe with Cool Whip. Well, because it was supposed to have Cool Whip and vanilla pudding. Uh huh. And so I just did a little bit more Cool Whip and some sweetened condensed milk. Because it's not really a salad, you guys. I mean, not in the way that you're thinking, maybe. Yep. So we'll see how that turns out. I mean, how can it taste bad? It's like. Just I mean, like really, how can it taste bad? It's just. Stuff. Maybe it's just the consistency. That's what we're. Is that gross? No. <laughs> and oh. we realized when we were doing this that we had the wrong lid, but we only realized that after a couple times of taking the other lid on and off, wondering why it wasn't like, like sealing. And we just, we have two pressure cookers and realized we had the other one on here. So true story, folks. Wow. There's some serious drama going on in this kitchen today. In other news, I bought this bowl in the spring. I swear, no, like before the lockdowns, before I had a shop, or no, right? I don't know when. You don't know when. But it's this really pretty mid-century crystal. You see Look that? Look at it. I love it. Yeah. So I finally get to use it today. With the salad, With in salad. quote. salad. I eat salad every day. <laughs> That's how I There's apples fit. in it, so it's healthy. You can't um, see the apples anymore. It just and, looks... Then do you, are you supposed to just put this in the refrigerator and... Yeah. I think I'll actually cut up one more Snickers bar and put it on top just to be pretty. Oh, yeah. And add some more nutritional value, right? Mm -hmm. Remember when we were kids, Snickers bar, they... they oh, yes. They, um, they the marketed bad, themselves as like a, like a healthy snack when you're hungry. Yeah, like on the go. People who are like healthy and on the go. Like, but you know what? You got to make sure you snack. It's usually like for mom or whatever. Oh. So they don't... Snickers doesn't try to fake like it's healthy anymore, I don't think, because... We're Maybe the, cons the consumers, consumers have worked that out. So, too bad. The golden years of Snickers. Now we are headed over to Weston and Allison's house. And um, it is Peter. It's really cold out. It's like in the 20s. Want to put your seatbelt on, Ash? Maybe. Cold? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you close that door? Oh, she's going to the bathroom. Thanks for reminding us so we didn't leave her. No, Dad was there. Oh, good. She's going to be cold. We're going to be inside all the time, right? You got to be cold in that sweater. I'm, I'm shivering in this. I know. I'm so in this. Wow. All right, we're here. And just to continue our brainless day, we also forgot to bring all those nice dishes yeah, we, we bought in the at Costco. Costco. We were going to use these, so nobody else would do that. And we forgot them. So... Man, we have the Christmas brain going on. You want to get some food? Can't get anything straight. I do. Okay, but otherwise, also the green beans we bought for this meal where it went bad before we could make them, so that happened. Oh man, we just can't. It was a it was a rough day. Not really rough day. Good day. We wanted to make order Chinese, and next year we will do that. We totally will next year. Because stuff like this happens when you don't. It's Christmas, it's not. Everybody treat each other nice because it's Christmas, okay? Not like usual. Bad. Now it's time to play Heads Up or whatever it's called. Oh, not Leon. Oh, Hottest Man in the World, but Hottest Man in the World, he's like one of the four heroes. Oh, Leon's oh, brother. Oh, um, um, Chris Hemsworth. Yes. <laughs> Ew, Hemsworth, like, all like that. Uh, yeah, not that all the time. Um, oh, that stuff that you made? Double yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Slime. Yes. Yeah. Slime. Oh, no, no. Do that harder. Oh, it's um, frozen and it's time period. It's not the, it's, it's an like old a, era a long time ago. A frozen oh, time the, period. Oh, the Iron Age. Yeah, Ice Age. Ice Age. Don't kill her. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's my season. It's a it's a about, uh, it's about a Vernia, uh, the, the, the language of the wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> He's funny blue, not blue. <laughs> <laughs> He's red. No, he's red. He's Sesame Street. What? Elmo. He's red. He's red. 
I said Sesame Street. Okay, now it's dance time. Did we show that you got this, Megan? I don't know if we did. Pearl got this for you. Yeah, Pearl bought me this. It's a, what is it again? A felting kit or yeah, something? Yeah, it's got all these raw, like, wool pieces and these needles that go in, and they actually have little barbs on them. So they're just, like, pulling, 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 and, like, felting. Like, they're, like, making into felt from wool. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, Pearl had heard me talk about this a long time ago. And like, I don't know, a few weeks. A few weeks ago again. And so you just... That looks dangerous. From here, it looks like you're just stabbing your hand over and over again. Well, you're you're supposed to wear these. Well, you can. But mom, she likes to live on the edge. I had them on for a little bit, but they do kind of just get in the way. I don't like wearing them. Very mom is a rebel. I have small hands, and they were just getting in the way. It's kind of exciting that way. No. The pain... It's not about living dangerously. The pain makes it more real, right, Megan? It's like you're really living. So then I have this little board on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. And um, Are you trying to make something that looks like this little birdie? Mm -hmm. um, I have a little a board of birdie birds. It's called birdie birds. And it's all these incredibly beautiful birds from around the world. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, let's try and make one of those. Well, why well, not? What are we, what are we doing? What is the project now we're doing? Girl, is you, we have these antique glass knobs. Oh yeah, one of the knobs broke on the thing out there. And I thought, hey, maybe Pearl's resin. Do you think just pushing it together would smooth, smooth, do that, Pearl? So you don't really need to? Yeah, I guess. You need to try to glue it. Isn't there glue you can just get for this sort of thing? Maybe? Well, yeah, but I was just reading about it. It sounded just like don't resin. Don't try not to get it on your hands. Okay. Is it good? Yeah. Then what okay, do you, do? you want to just hold it? Or? Yeah. You got to we'll have the UV light. We'll do it light. for 60 seconds just in case. So it's it UV resin. Glass? I don't know. The UV light. We're, We're about clear. to try and see if it works. We're going to try and see? We're yep. just going to see, Megan. There's well, no we're try. We're doing the right now. Only do, says Yoda. So this has to be for 60 seconds. Does it, it has does a, a timer. Does the light actually turn off? off? Yeah. Wow. You've never been to a nail salon, have you? <laughs> I've been to a few, but they don't have nice lights like these. This is exactly what they have. Well, the ones I go to don't. Oh, okay. Let's see. Ready? Well, no, 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 because we don't want to get resin everywhere. Well, it's it like, should be dry. You have to let it. 
Isn't it resin dry after 60 seconds? Megan, well, you don't know how this don't. works, do you? Because I never dry on glass. You're obviously you never a newbie. never dry on glass? I'm just kidding. No. I know, of course you haven't. It should be fine. <laughs> wait, wait, she flip flopped a little bit there. <laughs> it's good. The skipper thingy had resin on it. Whoa, let's do let's just do a little bit more from this angle just to make sure. UV light. So this could could this also double as a tanning light for me? For no, my face? it won't actually make you tanner, it'll just give you skin cancer. Oh. You don't get the benefit? Or the side effect of, of a tan skin no. with your skin cancer? No. Bummer. Are you not supposed to look at it? You know when you look at, at it, it, when I'm at the nail salon, I have been, I see all these little squigglies. I don't know why, but when I'm looking at the UV light, nowhere else, I see tons of little squigglies. Wow. Like on the... Like the just in the air. Were you like in here? No, oh, just like in the air when my hand's under there. There's just little squigglies. It's a good story. Anybody out there know why I see little squigglies? It's kind of like the little swimmers you would see in your eye, but it's only Any, where the UV um, light is. It's no probably blood. burning your retina or something. You have yeah, that's true. Any op ophthalmologists out there or any, uh, you know, people who know? Dude, I think that works. That's pretty amazing. I don't know if these are original to the piece, but they seem to be. Yeah, they sure seem like it. They're old. I don't love them. But when I looked it up, I thought the original, like, a similar cabinet had. Yeah, but if you want to have the original hardware on there, or whatever. No, you kind of want to do. Or original glassware, I should say. <laughs> okay, good job, everybody. Do we look tired? No, well, I'm not. I'm not tired. Uh, okay. I think that's the end of Christmas. I was tired this morning. Oh my I will gosh, tell you, you that were much. so out of it. Not sure if it was obvious on the video, but I was super tired when we were opening presents and stuff. I can't wait to see the video of Eve, like, saying no to her bike. She, like, I don't, you guys probably didn't see it, but we she, like, really... avoided looking at it when they came out. Like, you think she'd be like, oh, like, I think that's for me. But she was like, I'm not, that, that's not there. That's, I'm not. She had no interest in the bike. Well. She has kind of a fear of bikes. I think we've talked about this. Yeah, she, that's why you guys might have thought I was a jerk the other day. I don't, nobody said I don't think that I was a jerk, but I was like, I don't think it's a very good idea, but we'll see. To give her a bike? Yeah, but <sighs> I think she'll warm up to it, right? She will. Especially when Ju goes out on his bike. She's always want, wanting to ride something, but she had a scary experience on her previous bike, which scary meaning she got on it and there was... <laughs> I was going to say, like, you're going to make and, people think... And there were training wheels and it sort of leaned a little bit. Because of the training wheels, and that was enough for her never to want to get on a bike again. Like, I'm out. Yeah. Uh, so she has a love-hate relationship with bikes. I think intellectually, intellectually, she kind of knows that she should, she probably wants one. But then, when she's faced with the bike, she doesn't want to, doesn't want to do it. So hopefully, she can figure it out with no um, pedals. Other than that, everyone was pretty happy with their presents, and I think it was a, a fairly good Christmas, right? Yeah. Everyone got stuff they could work on and we're excited about. So, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, it went well. So, we're going to end it there. Megan's got her stuff to play with, too. Yeah, I, I couldn't. That oh, I'm, like, burning up all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know if we really... We didn't really show everything everyone got, but... I don't really like doing yeah, that. Yeah, it was it's just, just like, you know... weirdly, like... And then this, and yeah. then this, so that's why we never do that. Everybody got fun stuff. And uh, hopefully it's things that they'll use for, you know, at least the next couple of days. Creative ventures. Right. So I hope you had a good Christmas. I know this is a day or two late, but hope you had a good Christmas. And uh, also have a happy new year. And uh, we will catch you guys next time. Love ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.